Hello dear chess friends and welcome to our new video. In that video we will analyze a uh, very important uh, game and very instructive game played between Jan Timman and Ulf Anderson in uh, London tournament Philips and Drew in 1984. You will see how such fine positional player as Ulf Anderson was in the uh, uh, 80s of last century became a victim of uh, of uh, his illusion and you will see what happened in that game well simply extra pawn helped him uh, to make sure he will win or maybe just draw the position but in that moment already he was in big trouble game was started with e4 and c5 once again Timon was white player knight f3 e6 d4 all that moves are normal for Sicilian defense and uh, so-called uh, Paulsen or let's say Timon of variation a6 where after bishop e3 knight f6 white chose not so common move bishop d3 that move is not so good because it closes uh, file for the queen and uh, reduces its influence to the center so uh, black is able to strike immediately with d5 and that's exactly happened in the game now after ed black chose ed slightly better than knight f uh, takes on d5 after casting black d6 we will stop for a moment black has isolated pawn and knight on d4 is an excellent spot which of course should be supported with other pieces before white delivers the pressure on pawn d5 and that's why white played bishop e2 now wasting the time losing tempo but supporting that knight and preparing bishop f3 with attacking that pawn h3 h6 sorry with idea to avoid some uh, bishop g5 uh, with pinning the knight and delivering additional pressure to d5 rook e1 castling normal moves bishop f3 and rook e8 now taking that pawn will not give anything uh, to the white because black has just bishop h2 with level position black black is already i think uh threatening something somehow white king is maybe uh exposed and i think black only black can here claim for some initiative that would be bad for white white to give a uh, good h2 pawn making king safe for uh, isolated pawn d5 and that's why white played h3 renewing that threat <clears throat> and now bishop c7 protecting of course d4 is the most important square in such positions square in front of isolated pawn is always the most important and black prepares to fight for it same time preparing such maneuvers like knight e5 and knight c4 attacking bishop on its road knight d e2 in return white is ready to transfer knight to f4 to support pressure on pawn d5 black defends and knight f4 and now there is dilemma for black he decided to take on f4 i would not go for this well other possibility will be bishop a5 white won't be able to take on d5 because knight on c3 is now pinned and as you can see uh there is attack uh, x-ray attack toward rook e1 so that would be good for black black decided to take still not mistake but still i think that's imprecision bishop f4 queen b6 as we can see that was black's idea now he very well controls square d4 with two pieces delivering attack to b2 and is ready maybe even to advance d4 gaining some space queen d2 very interesting approach by Timon. he sacrifices the pawn but if black takes that won't be good because after let's say rook uh, a b1 white rook gets seven rank and you know rook is always dangerous on the seventh rank that would be risky for black rook a d8 as we can see black uh gave away his uh the most influent piece dark square bishop but uh, he has excellent centralization and white has some disharmony in his camp and that's why white played knight a4 idea is to kick black queen back if possible of course black plays queen d4 attacking the knight white moves knight back and in that moment 
black decided to take. I think repeating would not be bad for black at all. Simply position is balanced. White has bishop pair to compensate uh, activity and centralization of black. But black decided to take. He hoped after knight b4 and evident rook c1, rook c1 and evident bishop f5. He will have initiative after attacking that pawn. White decided to capture and bishop d1 would be another uh, reasonable possibility where still black will have some good prospects after let's say d4, knight e2 and now even d3 or knight a2 with aggression. After d4 white will be practically forced to play knight a4 but then knight e4 with supporting centralization looks uh, so, sorry 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 uh, first knight a2 because knight is hanging and now after rook moves now knight e4 with counter attack to the bishop as you can see there will be unclear position white must play bishop a5 <coughs> it may look black knight on a2 is trapped but there is counter attack rook e5 where after bishop c7 once again opponent may end the game uh, in a peaceful manner after threefold repetition. So you can see in all variations somehow that looks so drawish. But white here went for something extremely interesting and 92 is still uh, better than other option. What's the point? He sacrifices pawn for nothing. Yes, but after knight c2, bishop c3, black knight on f6 is under attack. Black must protect that pawn d5 and now excellent move g4. You'll see the point why. So black cannot play bishop e4 because after a changing bishop knight c2 is lost. Black must retreat. And now instead of capturing f6, white plays amazing move knight d4. What's the point? Let's stop for a moment. Black is pawn up and that's clear. But white bishop on d4 is some kind of superman you know because it doesn't only stops it doesn't only stop the pawn on d5 but also targets knight on f6 black cannot move the rook because after bishop f6 pawn d5 is, will be lost or if rook goes to d5 let's say to d7 there is rook c8 with immediate win black cannot move the knight because uh after rook c7 there would not be a response uh, rook d7 at all and black tried with bishop e4 after bishop e2 we can see black found nothing better than knight e8 preventing <coughs> preventing rook c7 but at this moment despite his pawn down white is clearly better why is that fact as you can see white will play on the queen side with advancing a4 and b4 which will be soon on the agenda and uh, as you can see black bishop is somehow trapped the bishop does not uh, work on uh, does not work does not affect on the queen side and white can just use the fact black bishop is uh, out of play let's say out of play to size dangerous initiative on the queen side so first white plays bf3 bishop g6 and king f2 of course centralization of the king is always first stage in such endgames after f6 black wants to regroup once again i want to underline that black is paralyzed something like this will fall into that okay what to suggest else knight d6 allows white to play rook c7 again so black wants with f6 to reduce pressure after king f2 to reduce pressure on pawn g7 and to activate maybe king of course white plays a4 b4 and after king a6 interesting solution white plays even f4 there is no problem with b5 that's just excellent move but f4 was played looks like serious mistake because e4 square is weakened but that white exactly wants he allows opponent to play bishop e4 but when e4 black bishop would be out of play don't forget bishop from g6 maybe in some moment would be transferred to eight to affect somehow on the queen side well of course after f4 bishop e4 i think more principle would be f5 generally if you have bishop pair against bishop at knight you should fix pawns on opponent bishop color to avoid some holes and to fix some 
opponent's pawn on the color of your bishop not having the opponent. After f5 uh, and king e3, white would be evidently much better, but after f4, bishop e4, white still played b5. A, B, now white played f5, okay. It looks like transposition. Uh, bishop f5 gives nothing. There is nothing black can do. That's just uh, lost for black. Two pawns are not, three pawns are not uh, enough to compensate uh, white extra piece and dangerous bishop pair. So after f5, king e7, bishop takes, of course, king f7, and here we go, white starts infiltrating bishop b6. What was the point? The point is after f5, white uh, bishop gets access to square e6. From there, he can uh, it can attack that pawn. And also, black king is kicked back. White uses the fact to play bishop d7, preparing in some moment dangerous move rook c8 or bishop c8, targeting pawn b7. g6, black tries to go for something, but excellent move a5. Before white plays bishop c8, pawn a4 should be secured. Now it is on dark, supported by the bishop. And last black mistake in that game is king g8. With gf, with gf and gf king e7, black should uh, be able to resist better because now bishop somehow works and protects pawn b7. White is evidently much better. Uh, after rook c4, that pawn will fall and white will dominate, but still nothing direct is on the horizon. So after a5, king g8 was played for some reason. I don't know why. f takes now, superb punishing, and now rook c8. Black must take because knight e8 will fall otherwise, and after that, black just resigns. So why did black resign that game? Because simply after knight d6, remember next powerful trick. Very often, uh, that's motive with edge pawn against the knight. Bishop b7, knight b7, and a6 would, would lead to easy win for white. That would be all for that game, my dear chess friends. I hope you enjoy that principle. And maybe you could also learn something, as I hope. The point is, black uh, became victim of uh, having extra pawn. I just want to mention that that uh, that position, exactly that position, is not better for black. Actually, black is here in huge problems because that extra pawn is firmly blocked by uh, blocked by white bishop. Uh, by bishop from d4 affects on both flanks and uh, is extremely safe there. On the other hand, uh, black bishop h7 is out of play because uh, real play would be on the queen side. White controls stably. That c5, black knight also is out of prospect. Black king is far from the battle and in that position, uh, bishop pair is evidently more than compensating that uh, minimal material loss. I hope that uh, you will in your future career have many similar uh, victories and I hope once again you enjoyed our uh, playlist. So see you soon with new videos. Bye bye.